So as a result of this, um, Chicago doesn't really build new housing anymore. Uh, this is another map I made of a change in housing units from 2000 to 2012. Growth is in blue, loss is in red. And you can see downtown, we're building a whole bunch, but immediately outside of downtown. Uh, it's pretty much all either flat or we're actually losing housing units. Um, and I've picked out two neighborhoods here to sort of uh, illustrate the, the craziness of this. So we have Lincoln Park and we have Inglewood. And if you wanted to pick two neighborhoods that are on the polar opposite ends uh, of the question, do people want to live there, uh, you probably couldn't get to better neighborhoods, right? Tons of people would live in Lincoln Park if they could. Uh, very, very few people want to move to Inglewood. Um, and yet, they're the same color. We didn't build any more housing in Lincoln Park since 2000 than we built in Englewood. In fact, we've lost housing in Lincoln Park since 2000. How do you yeah. lose housing? OK, how do you lose housing? That's a really good question. So um, basically, by tearing down two and three flats and building mansions in their places. And that's happened all over Lincoln Park, in, uh, also in, in Lakeview, in North Center. Um, it's actually quite common. Yeah. There's also significant demolishing of the public housing complex. There's also significant demolishment of the public housing complexes. Yeah, all the bright red. So, oh yeah, so on the sure. south side, that's so that, that's what that is. yeah, that corridor of bright red on the south side, uh, those three community areas, that's public housing. That's where Robert Taylor owns, et cetera. For. Yeah, that's all public housing. Um, but in, in places like Lincoln Park and Lakeview, that's not really, that's not really. Right, in the, in, when I was looking through the permits, I saw a lot of deconversions or I, I was noticing it. the same thing. Yeah. So it'll say like from an MDU, a multiple dwelling unit, to a single dwelling unit. Yeah. And I was kind of surprised. Yeah. Those would seem to be pervasive more than upgrading or up zoning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean if you look at sorry I'm not here. Um yeah, if you look at residential permits, a majority of them are either deconversions or building single family homes. Uh, in Neighborhoods like Lincoln Park and Lincoln. Just a random okay. question: what, What's going on in you know, O'Hare? <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing that what's going on there is there was some land that was vacant that was used for an industry or warehousing or something, and they decided to build some houses on it. Yeah, no, I used to live there, so like the areas the east of O'Hare is also like it's 16-story apartments and stuff. Mm -hmm. where there. Yeah, yeah, they have. Yeah. So you're, you're saying this is based upon zoning and having to do with like, the Great Recession <coughs> process? Mm -hmm. So, so okay. So, so um, certainly in most of the south and west sides, what's happening is not really about zoning, right? There's not a lot of demand to build new housing in most of the south and west sides. It's not all of them are down mostly. Yeah, on the north side, and I'm going to show this in a little bit, but um, in the north side. Housing prices are significantly higher than the metropolitan average. And in much of the north side, they actually skyrocketed up over the last 10 years, um, which suggests that, in fact, lots of people do want to move there. Um, the other thing is that, I mean, this trend, you could, you could show a similar trend going back really almost to 1930. <coughs> uh, it's not something that's just happened in the last 10 years. Anything else? 